If you're planning to buy or rent a tuxedo or a suit, Central PA Tuxedo has some tips for you. When is the best time to purchase or rent a tuxedo or a suit? We're finding most, uh, most couples are coming in somewhere between three and six months ahead of the function. If they come in and plan, then the rest of the party can come in at a timetable that's convenient for them. What about a tuxedo versus a suit? They're doing an, in, uh, an inside wedding. You're going a little more formal. Tuxedo is the fashion. They're planning an outside wedding, a little more uh, informal. Uh, the suit becomes a little more the preferential item that they look toward. What's the difference between renting a tuxedo or buying a suit? Well, the tuxedo rental is something that uh, it's formal. It's usually an occasion that a fellow does not bring out of his closet very often. Uh, when you're talking about suit clothing, well, that's practical uh, in the thought process because now the gentleman has something that he can bring out of his closet and also use for other functions. What are the prices? Rentals can be anywhere from $100 to $200, depending upon how simple and classic versus how upscale and fashionable you want to be. Uh, when you get into the purchasing aspect, uh, then you're going to start at $200 and go up to as high as $400. Should I get a fitted suit? Yeah, and, and that's going to be where you know we, we kind of have our strength with the product on premise because we have inventory in all these particular designs that the customer will see. And some designs are very much flattering with a tapered fit and certain bodies, body builds that will come in here that will be able to accent that particular fit. Being able to bring the product out and let them put that product on is a selling point instead of having them look at a picture in a book and say, oh wow, you know, am I gonna look just like this? They really don't know. Does color matter? Typically speaking, spring and summer, you go lighter in color. Later on in the summer and the fall, you do darker in color. And that usually has the trends that, that the, the couples will, will, will start with. What are some accessories? Well, that's where our industry has become very creative. We have some real over the top kind of things here with the, with the accessories that the guys can have some fun with. Things that are just adding those little touches of flavor to the, to the standard uh, clothing that they, they love to choose to purchase or to rent. What are the differences between a local store and a regional store? Regional companies have to own a lot of quantity of a certain look, mm -hmm. uh, which means they'll only provide a certain type of selection to their consumer because they have to have so many pieces. Uh, the, the local formal wear dealers, you know, we have the opportunity of being able to throw variety out there to them. So the consumer has more choices and that means that the consumer pricing is also set very competitive. So they'll find that the local formal wear shops will probably be a little more attractive in pricing and also give them a lot of flexibility on having more things to choose from.